Today, we're gonna create the Filthy Liar. It's a simple drink. You're just gonna need to get yourself some Filthy Liar. Liar. Yeah. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schover. That is Jennifer Schover. She's not making me in a shadow. Still here all week. No, I'm Still not as big as week. Ian. No. Uh, only Curtis. Yeah, only Curtis makes Ian Biggest. look small. I know, that's kind of weird. Uh, so I, I don't have to be the smallest looking dude in the world this week. No. So today we're going to be making... Oh wait, there's stuff to know about this. First off, The Filthy Liars may, is produced, executive producer's Kevin Murphy. And The Filthy Liar is going to be a very simple drink. It's going to be The Filthy Liar, made by White Whale, and gin. One equal part to oh, equal part. Can we part. shake this? Or do we build it in the glass? You just build it in the glass. Um, and, you know, I, I, I guess that's probably the right thing to do. I just don't want to break my glass, my, my ice. My nice clear ice, I didn't get a chance for it to temper yet, so it may snap when we build this. You really need to let it sit for until it gets clear, but whatever. Put it over here so my camera can pick it up. Well, you're, 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 Ian always forgets the to camera. do that, so. It's going to snap. I know it is. Oh. Well, there was half the ice. <laughs> or half the, half the, the gin. gin. So it's Poor two fail. splashes to two <laughs> splashes. No, actually, there wasn't that much that spilled over. Yeah. Um, White Whale, available at awesomedrakes.com. This is one of those, if you need to do something really fast and, and you want to get it done and you don't want to think, no brain, done, this is the type of thing to do. What happened in this drink Party. is this was supposed to be uh, the Oaxacan dead. Was the, oh, uh, that's the, the mezcal one. Was the mezcal one, yes. Oh. Um, and I was I picked that one specifically because you were you spilled it again. I spilled it again too. Because you were going to be doing the show, so I thought, oh, it would be doing a mezcal one. Um, and then I didn't have grapefruit, so after a while of trying to figure it out, bar dirty. Um, I I eventually got frustrated. Because um, I, I thought we were already streaming and I wanted to get things going. Then I said, what else could I do? And I looked around, saw the Filthy Liar sitting on all my shelves. Just and yes. was like, that, my friends, is what we're doing. So, she, how come it seems to be, it moves in places, I don't know. Um, it comes off because it spills crap. Because I'm a great bartender. Well, bartenders spill stuff, you just can't tell because it's usually behind it. Yeah. There. The clear eye still worked out pretty well, it didn't crack. Anymore after I cracked the initial piece, cut it off. All right, and it's, it's floating there. So these are easy. That was pretty it simple. Was... I don't even know what to do with the rest of my time. Yeah, I mean, we're done. Equal well, parts and bam. Want to try Good it? for a party. I would chill this glass too ahead of time just because. So next week we'll do The Walking Dead. I get it, The Walking Dead. Mm. The Walking Dead. Uh -huh. Actually, that's really good. What is the, uh... Clove. Yep. <laughs> that's why I like it. I noticed what I did ahead of time is I took a sip of that to, to figure out what the best gin would be for this. Ah. And, uh, I thought, and I said clove, but you probably obviously didn't hear me. No. Um, I thought because of that clove flavor, you were going to need something that could cut through it. So I figured maybe uh, a juniper for gin over an American gin. That's, to me that. though, is not as juniper forward as a tangere, as mm. a beef eater, which I don't think we have either of them, because we finally yet. went through our tangere <laughs> bottle. No, but I bought another tangere. It's oh, just, you bought a little one? It's, no, that's not it. Yeah, I thought I bought one. It's probably down there uh, someplace. But it was a small bottle though. I didn't buy a big one. To me, I don't think that's as juniper forward. No, but it's... it's it definitely is it's over a little bit more American refined. Gin. The, it's got more botanicals or something that yeah. makes it more fine than the tangerine, which tends to be like pine salt right in your grill, just like the beef eater would be. Right. Although, for some reason, I like tangerine better than beef eater. But I will buy a bottle of beef eater just because it, there's a lot of recipes that call for it. Oh, not a fan. No. I mean, we, but, went, we went to a whole beef eater event at Tales of the Cocktail one year. But that was 2010. This so maybe it's, maybe our palate has changed, you're saying? You, you like Mezcal, and I'm guessing I that do. year you would have hated to go to a Mezcal event. I would love it now. So I'm thinking... <laughs> so what's your point? <laughs> that there's a chance yes. we could end up liking Beef Eater a little bit more than we We would. could. Uh, but I will say, back when we went to that Beef Eater party, uh, 
event. Event's a probably a better word. Event they threw. Um, every cocktail. Every cocktail Didn't was matter what it was. horrible. And all the bartenders And, and of course they weren't unique. horrible cocktails. Everybody yeah. had a very good cocktail. Everything it had was their just own. my taste and I did not like Beef Eater. And it was always hiding in there. You always get yeah, it. Yeah, if you don't like it, you can always tell that it's there. Right. Like, like Campari. <laughs> Jack Daniels. Like people who yeah. can't stand it. Somebody asked today. I wish I could remember people's names very well, but I don't. But somebody today asked on the show in the comments of one of the videos, "What do you think of Jack?" And I'm like, uh, Jack Daniels? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I love Jack Daniels. I'm like, it's okay. I'm like, I don't go, "Woo, it's Jack Daniels!" Like, it's Jack Daniels. Whatever. But you had a college roommate that loved Jack she Daniels. He loved Jack Daniels. He swore by. And Jack at Daniels. that time, so... I had to stay far away from it because it made yeah. me want to gag. <laughs> and now I'm like. Like when we did the Manhattan, I was like, that's actually a pretty good Manhattan we made yeah. with, the, with Jack Daniels. And who knows? So your palates do change. I, question A, what is the, what drastically throughout your life, could be food too, what was one thing that you completely switched on? Like you would never have had that as a kid or as a younger adult. And as you got older, you liked it or vice versa. I don't think people usually go from liking to hating something. Not um, usually unless, unless you, eat you can't it. eat it for like... Alert, like sometimes allergies happen after the fact <laughs> so you could yeah but this them. isn't a, a like i like it but when i eat it my throat <laughs> my, expands yeah and I my die. face blows up but right you have to have you know like literally vehemently like, i don't want that I should keep that away from me like there's i guess maybe yeah you ate it too much i know that sometimes you can get much. sick and then you don't want to eat that food that again like hamburgers for yes, you and uh, that happened for a long time because i had a hamburger and then got like the flu mm. So, and it had nothing to do with the hamburger, but in my mind, I connected the two, yeah. and for the longest time, could not eat hamburger, because it just brought back the flu. <laughs> well, see, Stanley, so uh, he's tried Corona, but he's starting to hate it now. I, I believe that happens with everybody with Corona, eventually. It's a maturity thing, I think. Most people go, this isn't really that good. <laughs> but, you know what, there are times when I'm really thirsty, or for some reason I'm just craving a Corona lime. If that's what they have at the place, I'm like, I'll take a Corona in line because I just want one right now. Yeah. And then usually two drinks later, I'm like, why did I do that? So that's like driving into Burger King. Oh, there you go. I hated agricultural rum. Now he loves it. A Dude. And see, that's, that is definitely something. Agricola is tough. Yeah. Like, it's got that, like, weird grassy, earthy taste to it, and it's it's not like the rum you expect to have. So... You that is a to, rum that you can not hide either, because no. that taste is the, present. So you really build a cocktail around the agricole rum. So if you do have a cocktail yeah. recipe that calls for agricole, rum agricole, or anything like that, there's a reason the designer put that in there, because that's what they were basing it around. It's not an easy substitution. I'll just throw in some light rum or some Bacardi. It doesn't. It's not going to be the same drink. Right. Less exciting, I'm going to guess, is going to be what's going to happen. Yeah. I'm just going to throw it way out of whack. Um, so there, that, that's it. I think we, we extended the episode pretty well for just having a two We had a nice filler. And, and if that ice is... The VSOP fun. version is going to be really short th for this one. Boom, boom, done. Thank you. Have a good day. Um, but this drink definitely has that clove forward. Like, that is the flavor yes. I'm getting out of that. I don't know. Definitely what, clove. I mean, it, it is... It's clove. It's clove and gin. You're, you're bringing a, a liquid clove into the picture. What is... There's got to be a base juice. It's a pear. <laughs> Lychee? Um, I don't lychee? know. It says, have you ever tasted lychee fruit? Lychee? If you answered lychee? I think it's lychee. Yeah. Okay. If you answered it. yes, you are either an exotic fruit importer or you're lying. Probably you're lying. Regardless, be prepared to be seduced. When this floral fruit encounters the herbal tag team of rosemary and clove, There's your tongue experiences something like, well, remember the first time your eyes beheld the sun rising above an aqua sea? The perfect silence broken only by the distinct cry of the humpback whale. Bingo. What? <laughs> I have no idea what just happened there, but it tastes like clove. <laughs> yes. Um, it lychee or lychee, however you want to say it. Yeah, however you say it. Second there is pear there. juice. Did you say pear? Oh, well, he, he uses that in a bunch of the, the as the kind of the, the filler juice yeah. to, to round it out. But you uh, definitely get clove. Today, I also wanted to mention, um, you can donate on every day slash donate but we do have a roku channel i haven't seen it yet but the <laughs> developer was no done what it looks like um uh, it was done by the folks that do ifood tv uh i can't remember their parent company name but it should be in roku you should be able to search for common cocktails and find the app for our show and i 
I believe it's always up to date or something or close. I have to. I really have to just turn on the Roku and see how it looks. But the, the show should continually progress there. Um, you can also find us out on um, the uh, Cocktail Spirit and it or Small Screen TV. So if you go to Small Screen TV's app, we might we used to probably still do have a partner channel in there that you can watch their curated versions. But if you want to keep more up to date, we do have a Roku app now. So you got that call for you. There were people that used to watch on the Roku. It's a big Roku. TV. I think what people are doing now is I, I see people snapping me and stuff, and they're they're watching on their big TV. I don't know if they're... I think they're using YouTube on Roku or yeah. something. But those I found those to be hard to use because you got to do a lot of searching around. Yeah. you got to type in comment cocktails and stuff like that. So uh, the Roku app may make it easier for you. Let me know if you use it. And, of course, you can rate our app on the iPhone. That would be awesome. It's called Comment Cocktails. Can't go wrong. Download that. You can definitely watch every episode. We're done now. Teach you how to drink. My wrist is a little broken, but we're good. We're good. Oh, it's a big drink. It's got a lot more left. Right, I'm gonna go snap a picture of this big drink. Snap! Oh, snap!